Welcome back to another Trucker Tim video. We're going out today in the R Series for the longest journey I've done in it since ownership to get a full set of brand new Durabrites and a full set of brand new tyres as well. So I'm getting two new super singles to go on the front, two new super singles to go on the mid lift, two new drive ones as well. Right, I need to get out of the way. I'm holding everybody up. It's minus two degrees this morning. Also as well, what I've done, I bought all of my stuff out of the data shredders lorry. I bought it all with me to put in to the R series because that's where it needs to be. So yeah, I bought all that with me today. Still got all these fireworks. Very excited for new wheel day. Yes. Well, it's lovely and toasty in here because Sean got it all nice and warm for me. Put the night heater on and I can confirm the night heater works lovely. I think I'll get rid of this out of the cab because if we get pulled by Vosa today or something, that is not going to look good. That's that gone. Look at my double glazing. Yes! This truck is actually really properly spec, guys. I keep finding random things in here. Probably something else I don't want to get pulled over with in the cab. Let's get stuff in the cab. I've got my map. That is where we're going. Go down the M6 toll, I think. I can't believe we're going out on a big old road trip today in the old girl. Let's hope we don't break down and have to get Lombardos out to come and rescue us. We would make a good video, I suppose, but vehicle defect book. There's no defects. I know that. Well, there is a couple. God, it's hot in here. Transtech jacket, by the way. I'll put a link to their website in the description. Got all sorts of Transtech goodies you can buy from there. There we go. And there's some Lombardo's merch coming to my merch store. There's going to be like a Lombardo section as well, which is awesome. Ready to drive in the big V8. Let's go. Hey, yep. Let's get out of here. Look at my Tang spec glass. My double glazing. Thank you. <laughs> That's Marky. Look, we're wheel spinning. Hey, Tones. Hey, my Tones. Hey, bit late. Let's see how the big V8 performs today on its first, well, with me anyway, long trip. See if those warning lights pop back up on the dash that popped up when we picked the truck up. Listen to the downshifts it does. That's the V8, apparently, Sean said. The V8 loves to rev match. Power! V8 power! Can't wait to get it to truck max and get the exhaust on. <laughs> There's data shredders, give them some tones. Hey! We've got 54% add blue, and just over half a tank of diesel. I do like the sound of the big horns on the roof, the big long trumpets. Are we ready? But the original horn's still connected, so it sounds rubbish. The steering wheel just feels all grubby and sticky and horrible. Just needs a really good clean. But I think I'll get one of them three spoke big tang wheels for it. Look, wheel spin, wheel spin. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> She's spinning. Very good truck, this is. I'm very happy with my purchase. I'm buzzing for today. I can't wait to get super singles on the lift. And then when we get back, we'll go and see Darren at the paint shop, show him and put the side skirts on and see what it looks like with the super singles and the side skirts. Ratcliffs. And look at this, what I've spotted as well on here already. It's got sat nav. Oh, I should really reset all my trips, shouldn't I? So the average fuel consumption over the last 224,000 kilometers has been seven and a half miles per gallon. That's not too bad, really. Wheel spin, let's go. Oh, I don't know how fast we're going. We'll have to check, see how fast she goes. I want to get bigger tires on the back, really. And then we come back a little bit quicker. He was in the wrong lane. Look at this. Tones in the tunnel. Oh, oh look at screw fix coming down here. He wants a race. Get back in behind me. You'll never beat the V8. Yeah, we need to get this to go faster. So I've got my digital speedo up and it's saying 54 miles an hour with these tires on. Let's see on the way back. We'll do the same again and see if we're going any faster. I'm going this way. I'm going M6 toll. Get some tones! We could do them together. Double tones! Do you still want me? So we are just approaching. We have an impromptu tang there. We're just approaching 
the toll plaza. Have my card ready. I wonder how much they'll charge me for a unit. Just put me double gazing down. <laughs> how much is this gonna set me back? Hang on. I want a receipt. Here we go, we're off, we're off. 13 pounds, 60 pence. Listen to her. Can't wait to get it to truck, Max. So far, she's not missed a beat. <laughs> I'm over the moon with her, over the moon. She's driving lovely. So happy with it, so happy. We are about 15 minutes away now, so we are almost there. Lights on the highway. Here we are at Tire Tracks. I'll park here like this. So it's taken us two hours, 50 minutes to get here and she hasn't missed a beat. I'm over the moon with it. So we've got some of the wheels and tires out now in front of the truck. Here is my new, well, one of my new drive wheels. Look at that. Oh, it's like a work of art. Here is one of my new Michelin's drive tire. Brand new super single. You can see the difference here. This is brand new and this is what was on it. And a brand new Michelin tire with this splash guard on it. That's gonna go on the front. And then another super single to go on the lift with another brand new Michelin with this anti-splash guard. Look how scratched these are. And a set of brand new tires as well for the drive. There's not a lot of life left in them. If the inner wheels on here, if they are steel wheels, we'll put these wheels on the inside. So we'll have like Durabrites on the inside as well. I'm taking these back with me because Sean at Lombardo is gonna have them on his wrecker. I said he can have them for Christmas. I suppose all that's left to do to start getting them fed. We have a whole new set as well, of wheel nut covers. Oh, she's gonna look good. So we've come into the stores now to look for some wheel nut covers and yeah. wheel nuts. Yes. These are the ones we need. So how many boxes do I need? Uh, 60 in a box. 60 in a box. What do I need for a full set? For a six for two like yours, 60. So how many's in there? 60. Oh, perfect but then. There's 60 of the same, but we need 20 other ones for the longer for your aluminium wheels on the inside. What are here? But 40 <laughs> short, yeah. 20 long. Okay. Yeah, you know what you're doing. I ain't got a clue. So have I got big holes on these wheels or little holes on the new ones? Holes. I got big holes. We have all brand new ones of them with covers on. Yeah. Shiny ones. Because some of these have little Alcoa things in there, I've noticed. Yes, we are can they... get you them as well. Oh, we don't, I don't need them though. I've got covers on. No, no. no. Perfect. They're my nuts. I love all your signs. Look at all these. How many of these do I need? 60 of these and there's 20 of them. So there's three boxes? Yeah. And I'm good at maths, isn't I? They're gonna fly off, are they? Shouldn't do. They're the stainless ones. Yeah. They're the plastic ones. Okay. So you're just giving me like an option? Yes. It's shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely shiny. We need shiny. But they're actual metal. Yeah, yeah. And these are the plastic. Yeah. Most people go for these? Definitely. Yeah, Most definitely. popular. You've got to win you. Got to. What else have we got? Wheel wash. All the different washes for cleaning your Durabrites. Durabrite wheel wash. Oh, some people put like wheel trims on their super yes. single. I don't yeah. really like that myself. No. Oh, them, yeah. Nah. So we see how he's getting on. That's a bit jagged in there. What's that all about? Someone's tried to make them retrofit. <laughs> Someone's cut them out. In, in, instead of drilling them out to 32 mil, yeah. they've <laughs> done whatever they've done. <laughs> I'm excited for this bit to get super singles on the lift. This is basically why I'm here. I've been always making them. Yeah, you are quite noisy, Jake. Yeah, I am a bit. Oh, here she is. So we've gone for the anti-splash, haven't we? Anti-splash. Splashed all wheels off. He's so quick, isn't he? Slight corrosion. I wouldn't be trucker Tim without a bit of corrosion, would I? Wheel nuts, Tom. Is it going to fit? Well, we could change the profile of the tire, bring it down a little bit, but we want them to match the fronts, really. One wheel nut. Here we go. Give me a tight squeeze. Yes. Well, it's in. It is in. We need to check clearance. Hopefully, it will be all right. It's like a master's been eating 
You can have them if you want. Put them on, put them on the silver griffin. Yeah, put them on the silver griffin. Oh, are we going to be able to see that today? We have Hopefully. enough time. Hopefully. Yes! Woohoo! It's on fire! I want it to know that. Wow. F1 pit crew will let them be very good Did you really? We're going to put the axle up and check the clearance. We don't want too much skidding along the floor. Oh, yes. Perfect. All for the looks. Do some turning. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Yeah, we're all good. Perfect. I'm happy with that. Brand new Michelins. Massive shout out to Michelin for sorting me out with a full set of brand new tyres for the R series though. Can't thank you enough. There's a link in the description for all of their sites and things you need. So we've put a new tyre now on the old outer Dura Bright. We're going to put that one on the inside and then we'll have shiny wheels on the inside. Look at that. Oh, you're brave. You're very brave. Well, you don't want to scratch them, do no. you? No. You're having palpitations. <laughs> I am. Oh. There we go. Now that is going to go on there. X Multiway 3D. It's definitely 3D, it's not 2D. You won't get very far on 2D. No, you won't get very far on 2D Michelins. 100 PSI. It's looking like it's going to be a nighttime ride home for me. I'll try my lights out. The new drive wheel is going on. Oh, look at that. That is nice. That sort of takes your eyes away from this, doesn't it? A bit. Don't look so bad now. Your eyes are drawn towards the the shiny the wheel. Shiny bit. Yeah. You be careful in there. Could be worse. You should be, be doing it. Yeah, there's no way. No way I'm going in there with that. <laughs> Looking good. We just need that one now. And then the and, and then the other side as well, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Fresh rubber. It's got very cold out there guys, so I've come in here, put my night heater on. And what we'll do, we'll get moved into the truck. This is all the stuff out of uh, my Volvo at Data Shredders. So yeah, we'll move it in to the Scania because this is where I'm going to be working from. This is going to be my working truck. So yes, I think now we've just got the two front wheels to do. Then we're done. And then we're going to head across and have a look. Tommy at Tire Tracks Silver Griffin. Oh, what's this? A Data Shredders top. I just found this in my box of goodies. Ah, you can use that as a rag. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, the blue lights! Are the Volvos the same width as the Scania's? Yes, they are. Lovely job. So we're getting the front one on now. Look at that. Yeah. I can't wait to see how it drives. We're just putting some tyre dressing on this one. Oh, it really shows up the hubs. Hello, what are you doing under there, boy? Just found these in the cab. Go on here. And I've just noticed that. Asset Alliance. Oh! So we're just going round now, torquing up. What torque settings do we have it on, lads? 650 for a Scania. 650 for a Scania. Well, oh, they're different for different trucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? So the Scania. I didn't know that. Merc, M A N, I V Co. Yeah. They're all 600. Yeah. Scania 650. Ah, because obviously more power. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, more Scania V8 Volvo and all that. Volvo is 670. Oh. <laughs> that don't work. <laughs> it's 680. Oh, right, no, no. Oh, ignore, what, ignore what I said. So we're all torqued up. Some tyre dressing on. Look at that now. I wish I had my side skirts with me to finish it off. We'll do that later in the video. Look at that. It looks so good. I'm very pleased. Very good service here at Tyre Tracks. So if you need Durabrites or tyres or anything, ask for Tommy at Tyre Tracks. And if you want a very professional tyre fitting service, you need to ask for Jake. <laughs> Tang! Finishing touches, all my nut covers. Don't drop them. Ow! That wasn't actually for the video. Oh, they can't finish it off, don't they? It's so good. We've got all the covers on. Can't see that much now because it's dark, but they really do stand out. I'm over the moon with them guys, I really am. Thank you so much Tire Tracks and Michelin as well for sorting me out with those tires. Really do appreciate it. All the links are in the description. Want me to sign my life away now? Trucker Tim. Thank you, Jake. Oh, yes. 
So, my interior lights don't work in the truck, guys, so we're gonna have to use my phone to light me up. But I've got four sets of super singles on the bed. Two for my cousin and two for Sean Lombardo. And Merry Christmas, guys. Can't believe my interior light's not working. Anyway, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go over and have a look at the Silver Griffin. So I've been driving now for about 15 minutes and it drives like a new truck, guys. It really does. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. It drives better. It drove better once we fixed all the bushes and little problems it had with it. Now it's got a full set of brand new Durabrites and a full set of Michelin tires. It drives even better. It is literally like a new truck. I'm not even joking. Absolutely awesome. Like the steering feels so much more precise. I mean, we had different brands of tires on the front before. We had some Jetway things on the left and some Scion thingy bobs on this side. While I remember, we've gained one mile an hour. It did 54 on the way up, it now does 55. So I'm parked up now with the Silver Griffin. It's just behind the camera, you ready for this? Oof, look at that, guys. You've got like beacons on the side bars yeah. as well. <laughs> this is unreal. We've got the underglow. I love that, how that lights up on the floor. I've got, I've got to have that. I've got to have that. We've got the gambler on the back. That's Kenny Rogers on there. With the Dutch bumper, beefy flap. Wow, it's unreal. And oh, you got it on here as well. The fifth wheel cover. It's absolutely awesome. And most special thing about it, it's number 10 of only 100 in the world, which is unreal. Right, do the party trick. Check out these lights on the back, guys. Watch this. <laughs> Look how bright they are. They light up everything. We come around the front here. We've got these work ones on the side. This truck is something else. Shame we couldn't get to it in the daylight, but being in the dark, we get to see it all lit up like this, which is pretty good. Can we have a look inside? There's mine with its new wheels. Oh, look, you've got the side locker open. Trucking sounds, done this. So this is standard, from standard factory. From factory yeah. Oh, and then look down here. Scan your emblem on the floor. Let's climb in. Wow, she's a manual. The so trucking sounds obviously did this as well. And these speakers in the corner, silver griffin on the back there. Wow. Left hand drive, but that takes some getting used to. I've lost this in mine. I like this. This is good. Can't wait to get my interior done. It's got all the cameras. So it's absolutely spotless in here. Right, I better get out and stay in here forever. Hopefully, next time we meet up, mine will be looking a little bit more maybe your four show worthy. Series. Yeah, my four series and your R series parked next to each other. This one will look better when it's all painted and I've got my catwalk and my trucker Tim A frame and everything. Hello. All that on the back, the all my lights. The wheels have really... I can't believe how it's changed how it drives as well. Honestly, it drives so much better now. I've seen all, all the different stages now with it. With like, obviously when I picked it up, it was all bangy and knocky and everything yeah. like that. And we fixed all the problems, got all the new, all the new bushes and everything done. Then it felt even better. And now with these wheels, brand new set of tires that all match, not all mix match, all and Michelin. new wheels, all Michelins. Anti-splash. Anti-splash. One day, my four series will look like this. One day. I feel a little bit left out. I'll see if my beacons work. There we go. Got my beacons on as well. We're like boy racers in the car park, aren't we? This wasn't us though. <laughs> that definitely wasn't us, yeah. Just going to McDonald's. I'm actually going to do that on the way home. I'm not going to be home until really, really late. But there we go. Thank you so much, Tommy. Really appreciate it, mate. Thank you. That is a proper, proper bit of kit. See you later. <laughs> Off he goes. So we're going to crack on, get home, and I'll speak to you guys in the morning. We'll have another look around the truck in the daylight, and we can ask Darren what he thinks about paint colours for this. Let me know in the comments as well, guys, what you think we should do. But yeah, I'm using my phone to light myself up because the cab lights don't work in here. We need to fix that as well. I'll speak to you in the morning. So you rejoin me, it's the following day. We now have daylight. We can have a proper look at the wheels on the R series and I'll put the side skirts back on so we can get a proper look at how it's going to look. So much better with the side skirts on. But yeah, I had a faultless journey with her yesterday. She didn't miss a beat, no warnings, nothing. So that must have been the batteries that were causing all the errors to pop up. But yeah, I'm over the moon with this truck. Now we've got everything fixed on it, bar a couple of things. Something just exploded in there. They got a fire in that bin. 
I'm all right here. Apart from a couple of things that still need to be fixed. This jump point here and fifth wheel bushes. We've got them, they're in the cab there, we just need to be fitted. Are we ready? Are we ready to have a look at the truck now with its new wheels and side skirts on? Three, two, one. There she sits with those side skirts on. It just finishes it off really, doesn't it? We're gonna be having a nice catwalk across here. A-frame is going on there. I'm gonna keep these side skirts, they're gonna be repaired. And down the bottom here, we're gonna have an extra strip that runs along there with lights in. Obviously we'll have perimeter lights. On the back, I'm not having a big Dutch bumper like the 4 Series. The 4 Series is actually in the tent just there. So I've got both trucks together for the first time. But yeah, I'm not having a back Dutch bumper on this. I'm literally gonna have another set of these lights to go here, both sides. So I've got double lights at the back. Probably put some new mud guards on because these are, yeah, they're, they're knackered. And this anti-splash thing here works wonders. I mean, I come back last night, the roads were awful, but look at my wheels. They're still shiny. Darren's had a little play with this side skirt. Do you remember this bit here was cracked, basically hanging off. And he's fixed that and he's got the lines pretty much spot on with it. Really, really pleased. Well, yeah, obviously it needs a lot more work yet, but he's fixed that bit. You know what I might do? I might back it under this trailer, not hook up properly, just back it under. See what it looks like with this trailer on. I might make a good photo. We'll do that in a second. Before we do that, let's have a little look at the four series in the shed here. Our series. Meet 4 Series, this is the first time they've been together. Our Series, say hello to 4 Series. So we come in here, not much has changed since the last 4 Series update video. She still sits here like this, just waiting for the cross members to come back from Optima Steel. And then once they're in, get, the back, get this axle back attached, get rid of that axle, get the twin tag in when it turns up. It's not, quite, not here yet, I don't know where that is, need to chase it up. Hello. Our Series is definitely looking a lot healthier than the four series. But when these two are together, when they're done, that's the first time they've both been in the same shot. Nice. I've still got the wheels on the bunk. Brought them back with me from tire tracks. Had an absolutely awesome day yesterday, guys. Anyway, let's hook up, well, not hook up, back under that trailer there. Get a few pictures, see what it looks like with that trailer on. Check that out. It does look good with that fridge on. Can't wait to get the R Series all sprayed up, get my own trailers and start doing some work and just making awesome content for you guys. I cannot wait. Come along with me. Hit the subscribe button, like this video if you liked it, and please leave a comment. And Darren, what do we think now it's got the wheels on? What do you think? I think the wheels are great. Wheels are great. Tires just the are rest, beautiful. Just, just the rest of it. No, it's fine. So yeah, all we it's really fine. need, we've had a look round, a new one of these, and a new, and a new one of these, because I've just noticed that's, wing that's cracked. That's probably why that's all fell down there. We've got two but yeah, of these. We've, we've got, got two of those there. already. That's it. Size skirts. We can repair. Size skirts on. Everything else can be repaired. I'm very happy. Yes. I think we're going to go white, aren't we? Yeah. We've said now. We was going to go black, but... No, we're going to go white. Yeah, go white with blue across here. Candy blue. Candy blue across there. Blue along here. Yeah. And that blue. Yeah. Colour code these white. These white. Yes. As well. Move to make it white. look lower. Mirrors white, this black with, black with tinted windows. Shh. Look at this. Oh, I what we do. oh, you can get fancy ones of these, can't you? You can get nice Scania ones. They make them, didn't they? Yeah, they nice take, Scania they ones. Take the badge off and then mount the badge ah. onto the front. You can make one. I could do it myself. You can make one. Do it myself. Right, then I need another one of them to match up this side. Yeah. I don't know what to do with the front though. I'm in two minds. It's got to be, if you're having blue bits on it, it's got to be all white, hasn't it? White. White with blue. Blue, 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 blue. Oh no, we might even come yeah, around no, this. Yeah, no, definitely around this. We'll come around here. We'll what, around this bit here, look? Yeah. Yes. And then leave that bit white. Yes, that bit blue. Yeah. Could do the back of the mesh in white and the front of the mesh in yeah, blue. I don't know how that will look. It will look the... Light bar, I'm going to keep that now. We'll do that blue, put upgraded lights on. Some laser lights or something like yeah, that. Sun visor, colour code that, a good bit two tone that. Two tone maybe. Actually, no, sun you're visor. Have a deep one. Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, of course I am, Darren. I'm having a deep one. We'll do these two tone steps. Yeah. Steps. What do you think? They've definitely been used. Put them in blue. I think. Yeah, yeah split it. Yeah, they look good. I do like the white and black though. White and black, yeah. We'll do white and black then. No, white and blue. I think. Paint these. Do so you think these definitely white? 
Yeah. Do you think, don't think they're going to clash, clash with the black windows no. and the black? No. No? And then just need a couple of repairs up the top there, where it's hit a tree or something. It's going to look awesome. Side by side truck fest. Yeah, well, yeah, hopefully. We'll have to see, won't we? Just waiting for them cross members. Two right. hubs. Hubs. You think blue? Oh, I think I so. thought black. Look at doing black. Doing black. Doing black. black, maybe. Then catwalk. Then catwalk. White with the tops off. A-frame two-tone. A-frame two-tone. Yep. Clean out all that grease and clean up the fifth wheel. Well, they right, they'd put, they'd put, they'd put a cover under there, wouldn't they? Put under oh, the yeah, wheel. they slide a thing under slide there, don't they? Yeah, 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 of course yeah, they do. Yeah, you yeah, see, yeah. I forget about all this. I might take this hideous roll around. You still want to clean the grease though. Yeah, oh well, yeah, get the grease out. <laughs> Don't just slide the cover over the top of it. One of these coming apparently. Does look good now the side skirt's on though. Air tank cover. Air tank cover as well. I need to make a list. I need to make a list and check it twice. And then send it to Santa. Yeah, send it to Santa, see what he can do. <laughs> we need to go back. 